Hey guys, what's bacon? Um, day two of Turtle Week, and uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the animated series that aired between 2003 and 2010. Um, first thing we'll start off with saying is they had a uh, cool new theme song. Um, I didn't mention this in the last video, um, but uh, the original 1987 theme song um, was the very first uh, piece of music that uh, my oldest son, Malcolm, ever heard. Um, I sang that to him in the delivery room. Um, so that's a little tidbit of information you guys didn't know. Um, anyways, back to the other one. Uh, yeah, they had a cool new theme song. It was updated. Uh, it didn't sound anything like the original, but it was still the same idea. Like, it told you uh, a little bit about each turtle and stuff like that. Um, this one was a lot more serious toned. Uh, the original was kind of like a sitcom with a side of uh, a little bit of action, and uh, it was mostly just the turtles being silly and uh, making puns and stuff like that. In uh, the 2003 version, um, the only comic relief to the show was really Michelangelo. Um, the other turtles' um, personalities were much more um, focused on... Uh, on what their personality was in the first one. Like Donatello, um, was his personality was much more focused on being like family oriented and the uh, engineer tech guy who designed everything for the turtles and stuff like that. Um, Raphael, uh, his anger was uh, a lot more intense than in the original series. He was a lot more serious. Um, he often got into fights with Leonardo over leadership. Um, I think... They resolved Raphael's anger issues pretty on into the series, and uh, they didn't really do anything else with it after that, and he didn't really have any more uh, real big story arcs, um, but he still remained my favorite character, for sure. Uh, Leonardo, while in the first one, and in, uh, I guess, the comics, was always probably the most underdeveloped uh, turtle while still being the leader. Um, in this series, he was probably the most highly skilled and uh, probably the one that all the other turtles uh, wish they could be like. Um, there's also Michelangelo, who uh, whose silliness was uh, through the roof. Um, he often uh, wanted them to be superheroes, and I think he could be seen with a cape on and a superhero costume at points. Um, they also hinted around a lot in this series to Michelangelo um, having the most potential out of all uh, turtles in terms of ninjutsu. He just didn't have the focus um, to try hard enough to uh, truly unlock that potential. Uh, but there was one episode um, where he did um, use his full potential and uh, he showed everybody that. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the turtles. Um, Splinter, I believe Splinter's character was pretty much the same. I don't think it changed too much. Um, the master rat, you know. Uh, we also have uh, Shredder was in this. Um, I can't remember what they call the little uh, brain alien this, but it's not a Krang. Um, but at some point you find out that Shredder behind his mask is not actually, there's no human there. It's just uh, one of those little uh, alien things. I wish I could remember what they were called from the series, but uh, I can't. Sorry, guys. Uh, I should have been more prepared for that. Um, but yeah, it's just one of the little aliens in there. Um, and in this series, Shredder is not one particular person. Um, Shredder is like a title of anybody worthy to uh, rule the Foot Clan. Um, so there's multiple different Shredders through the series, um, including Karai. Uh, she becomes a, a Shredder at one point. And Karai is um, Shredder's adopted adopted daughter, um, who is actually, uh, Splinter's, uh, biological daughter, um, which they find out later in the series, I believe, I believe, um, yeah, that's, that's a bit about them guys, um, there, um, there's also, uh, Hun, you guys might remember him, he is the, uh, really big, um, I think, I think blonde-haired guy, he was the leader of the Purple Dragons. Uh, the Purple Dragons are, I believe, the first set of um, villains that we see um, in this animated series of the Ninja Turtles. And 
Hun is actually the reason that Casey Jones becomes a vigilante in this series. Um, because I believe 10 years prior uh, to the show starting, uh, Hun uh, kills Casey's father and burns down his shop um, over uh, protection money or something of that nature. And uh, this leads Casey to become a vigilante. And uh, Casey's character is pretty much Casey's character in every telling. I don't think it really changes too much. Um, so that's about it for this Ninja Turtles uh, talk today, I think, guys. There is one other thing I'd like to talk to you, though, uh, about that's really important. And I haven't mentioned this yet. Um, but uh, it's very, very, very big. And it's coming up tomorrow. And I'm super excited. And he's super excited. Uh, tomorrow is my oldest son, Malcolm's sixth birthday. Um, so you guys should give him a big happy birthday and, uh, I get a big surprise for him tomorrow. I can't wait for him to see it. Uh, it's something that I almost opened up and started playing with myself today. Uh, Kayla had to fight it from me almost. Um, but yeah, uh, Maybe I'll film him opening that up so you guys can see what it is. And if not, I'll just show you. Um, but once I open it up and I get at it, there's going to be a video about it. Uh, anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Turtle Talk Week. Because uh, I have probably like five more videos of Turtle Talk that I can do. Um, but I want to know if you guys enjoy it. Because uh, if you enjoy it, I will continue with Turtle Talk Week. If you're not enjoying it, then we'll just move on to something else. And uh, no point in boring everybody. So let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to continue with Turtle Talk Week, if you would not like to continue with Turtle Talk Week. Um, whatever you'd like to do, just let me know. And uh, give the video a thumbs up and share it around with your friends because we are now at 40 subscribers and that makes us 10 away from revealing the new channel logo. Um, and I'm still super excited about that, you guys. I hope we get to 50 very soon so we can all see that. Uh, up in the corner, or down in the corner, or wherever we put it on the screen. Um, but I just want you guys to see it. I want it to be there all the time. Um, so, until next time, you guys, share it around, subscribe, and stay crispy.